Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, I have found a Professor Leidenbrock on defense. Um, pretty amazing stats, actually. Almost 800 attack and over 900 defense is awesome. Um, so you have the stout stats for a healer, but also are not sacrificing the tile damage of your stack and a ton of HP. So let's go over this again. Um, if you haven't seen my other testing video, it's not comprehensive, but I explained some of the key things like how this 20% um, mana thing works, what sort of troops you need to be able to charge at fast speed, um, which turned out to be only a level five mana troop. You only need a 7% bonus for the first charge to happen in only nine tiles, which is pretty amazing. Um, so this healer, the upfront heal is pretty weak. She's really like an incredible Bira counter, but I think her utility drops off pretty steeply outside of that because the upfront heal is only 200, which is very weak for a hero that the majority of the time is going to be slow. Um, it can be added as temporary HP, which is great. The kicker is all allies' health is boosted by 600 HP over four turns, and this effect duration is reset if the target receives status ailments. So what I'm actually very curious to try is to use my team up here, which is like purely status ailments, and see if I can even kill this team. This is not a test that's going to show what a raid will be like often with this hero, but I want to see for myself what it looks like when her heal just doesn't stop. You know, is it a total runaway train? Is it manageable? Because it's only, you know, 150 per turn. What does that look like? So that's the first thing I want to see. Um, so let's go for it. Okay. Hmm, not getting the extra reds here. There we go. Alright, so one thing about her is if you get the ailments first, then it doesn't count. Oh man, and we've got an easy shot at killing her. So, for the record, she would be totally dead here. Uh, she is going to cleanse, which is a nice effect to have. She's going to heal 200 up front, and then a 1 or 236 based on the healing bonus of the mana troops. 212, did he just overwrite hers? Yeah, so hers can be added as temporary HP, but Ares, who is kind of sort of a washed up hero at this point, has a stronger heal than she does. Only to three. You can see these ones are still 150 per turn. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to not kill her. Does it matter if I kill her at this point? I won't use the attack buff. Okay, so as these effects land, it's going to keep resetting this heal. And the idea is that it shouldn't stop this entire time, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so let's put some more ailments there. She's not standing up too well, but she's gotten hit pretty hard with, uh, with a lot of tile damage. So yeah, you can see it's going, but it's not insurmountable because it's only 150 per turn. So I don't know what I see her potential as. Obviously, like I said, a, a Bira counter is one of the things that she does best. 
Um, I mean, I guess she doesn't need to survive to do her job because if you're attacking with ailments, which, you know, on, um, on offense, you have to be pretty silly to use a team like I'm using. I just wanted to see what the impact would be. But my minions have died now. So... Um, this is going to go away soon. Two turns left. Uh, let's use it again. Or let's restart it again. Let's see if we can see if we can beat them with this heal going on constantly. I think not, especially with the head start that they have. Um well, if I can keep Gravemaker alive, that will help out a lot. I can't tell what the net direction is. <laughs> I guess while the flame is active, um, I am doing more damage than they're healing, but with just... Oh, that was stupid. Um, with just the minions going, I think I would never be able to to beat them because my damage output just wouldn't be high enough unless I can get tons of minions but Cobalt's going to keep fighting against that with his huge special every once in a while so we've chipped him down um, yeah but they've had this heal the entire time that's pretty funny and that was, again, stupid to use that, because she's just going to dispel it, but whatever. Okay, so this may seem boring, and, like, what's the point of me testing this? But I'm trying to conceptualize what I think her role is as a hero in the latest season in this game. What is it that she's supposed to do? So we've seen that if you have a team that's placing a lot of ailments... Um, even if she dies, her effect can linger for a long time afterwards, which is what we're seeing right now. So that is a utility where she kind of places that status and then it remains. Um, but I think I'm using a pretty unique team in that normally it would not remain this long. And still the 150 per turn is just not that strong. So I think she's an incredible Bira counter, but what else is she outside of that? Also, this team doesn't make any sense. You have a, this heal overriding her heal, and her heal of return is the only thing that makes her good. I think her upfront heal should be bigger to give her more usefulness outside of just countering one specific hero. Um, because what are other heroes that give constant ailments? I don't think there are any. Um, uh, minions are going to go off every turn, but I think Beeras are the only five-star minions that give an effect. Uh, Lady of the Lakes don't give an effect, it's just a mana cut. So yeah, what, who else would be giving statuses? You know, as long as they're hit within those four turns, it'll work, but... She definitely has no place on defense because it's easy enough to get around. You can dispel it. And then she's just got the weak upfront heal. She is going to be fast on the first charge for functionally fast. And then she'll go back to being slow. And I just don't think it's enough. There were people saying that I think, you know, they think she's overpowered. But like on defense, if there was ever a team that she would totally shine against, it is the one that I just used. It's a very strong team. But. The damage is low um, in that it's only ailments, and she is specifically there to combat, excuse me, to combat ailments. It's true that she didn't survive that long, despite her heal staying the whole time, so she could have been cleansing and giving that upfront heal, but I just think she's too slow for that. I think she should have been, let's see. I don't want to change, I wouldn't want to change her speed because that would just negate her passive. So I don't think that's the answer. I think 
it's fine to keep her speed as is, keep the passive as is, but I think she should, her upfront heal should be like at least 400 or something, or keep it at 200 but make the heal overturn like, I don't know, uh, 800 plus over four turns, something like that. Um, Because yeah, right now I just don't see what her purpose is, and like, you've got to be in a pretty privileged position in terms of your roster just to be like, well, she's a beer counter, so I'll level her, level her just for that. And I'm not insulting players in that position. I'm just saying that that's a position that not many people are able to be in because obviously ascension items are very rare, blah, 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 blah. You want to choose heroes that didn't give you the most versatility, and I don't see her as being a versatile hero. On offense it's better because you can trigger her and trigger heroes on defense to keep the heal going but it's like all right if you're fighting against vela or gravemaker or something like is it really good to set them off just to keep her heal just for their dot damage to counteract her heal you know like there's something missing here the concept is cool but i just don't think she got to the place she needed to be to be a widely desirable hero. She seems a little bit niche and bizarre. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll find uses for her. But at this point, I would not personally ascend her unless I had no other options and lots of darts because she's still um, a perfectly usable hero with great stats. But there's definitely something missing here. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you think I'm missing anything, please include that. I'm always open to new ideas. I'm just kind of presenting these things as best as I can understand them and trying to think through those situations to provide that kind of valuable insight, but not claiming that I know everything, um, obviously. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next video.